Okay, here we go. Uh, here is an update on the PM25 MV uh, benchtop milling machine CNC conversion. So I'll try to keep it really quick, get right to the point. Uh, before I do anything, let me fire up a little test program that I wrote and we will make this thing move. All right, there you go. So let me tell you about that really quick. Right now, I have the maximum rapid set to 120 inches a minute. I actually, while I was playing with it, I had the rapid at 300 inches a minute. It, it moved 300 inches a minute just fine, but that is darn fast, at least for the type of stuff that I'm doing. So I felt more comfortable dialing this thing back to 120. So that's that's much faster, that's like twice as fast as I can rapid my, my Grizzly uh, conversion. And I think that'll work out well for me just now. If you heard a little noise while it was rat moving, it's the stand, the door, the door vibrates and this metal, metal base kind of develops a resonance. I may not leave it on this metal base, I may build a different base for it. Uh, now that I'm, I'm seeing what's happening, I, d I don't know if I want to I want to hear that vibration. I don't know. We'll see. We'll figure that out. The, let's see here. One shot lube system is working great. And I think that's helping to make the motion of the table really smooth. Um, I was able to figure out a way to uh, lubricate the ball nuts. I was able to plumb these little lines in all the ball nuts. I can grease the Y axis right here, grease the Z axis there. X-axis, I just have to reach underneath and I can get that one. So that's all working really well. The parts I machined all fit up good. Um, with the exception of the, the holder or the bracket that holds the Z-axis ball nut, I kind of um, underestimated how much, or I overestimated how much space there is here to install that thing. So I, I actually <laughs> I had to do some modifications to that piece to get it to fit in and get that all together, but it worked out. Other than that, all my pieces are fitting great and I'm, I'm really happy, really uh, glad that that went together. These uh, cartridges I, I got are, are working well also. They're really smooth. They're easy to install. Um, these have angular contact bearings in them, so that's good. It's working great. The uh, 12 millimeter ball nuts that I used for X and Y, I don't think I'm going to have any trouble with those. I was able to double up you know, the ball nuts, I have double ball nuts on X, double ball nuts on Y. It's working well. I have the 16 millimeter ball nut on Z with a double nut. That's going to work great. That's what everybody else uses, 16 millimeters, so it should work well here. Uh, motion of the machine is really smooth. I was able to, these closed loop lead shine knockoff copies, I'm able to set these to 2,000 pulses per rev. And I, my memory's serving me correctly with these 12 millimeter ball nut or ball screws, four millimeter pitch, 2,000 pulses per rev. It works out to like 12,700 pulses per inch. So that takes the minimum increment down below, uh, it's, it's well below one uh, ten thousandths of an inch. So the motion is really smooth. And while I'm jogging this thing around, you know, um, I can tell just by putting my hand on it. Um, it's way smoother than my Grizzly conversion and that's I, I know has something to do with the closed loop system Which by the way um, When I started doing this conversion, I wanted to use servos. 
I was going to get the clear path servos. They're kind of expensive when you add up all the options and the cables and upgrading to the finer resolution, all that stuff. It gets kind of pricey. So I, I went against, chose not to use the clear path. I went with these uh, knockoff lead shine closed loop stepper motors. Um, good news. Since I started all this, I have come to be aware of a company called DMM who makes servo motors and servo drives. And uh, I actually, I have uh, DMM servos for X, sorry, I have DMM servos for X, Y, and Z on the way. So I have the servo motors, servo drives, and I'm actually gonna try, their servo drives um, can also be spindle motor, motors. So I'm going to try to use one of their servos as a spindle motor also. That, uh, I'm using uh, like a, a, an 1100 watt uh, motor, 3000 RPM. Uh, so anyway, I'm gonna give all that a shot. I think that's gonna be like a real good upgrade. These are working well, but I think those uh, DMM servo, servos are going to work even better and that there's really no difference in price. I think, so, you know, basically you can get servos for the, the same cost as closed loop steppers. So that's a no brainer. So stay tuned, I'll get that video put together. Um, Acorn board is working really well. I really like this thing. Really like the CNC 12 software. Um, it's just super easy to configure. The interface is really easy. <laughs> it's, it's really nice, I like it. Um, see here, user maintenance. My ball nuts, um, I have 1,006 tenths, 1,005 tenths, Z axis, I just threw 2,000 there. I don't, I don't actually know what the backlash is on Z, I didn't check it, I'll worry about that later. I was more fixated on X and Y. I would like to have less backlash than that. I wish I had less than a foul, to be honest with you. But um, considering you know the cost of these Chinese ball screws, I guess I, I can't complain uh, with, with what I have. If any of you know how to improve this, let me know. Um, I'm open for any suggestions, but you know, I, I think I can live with this. If I'm if I'm not mistaken, I think a you know the Tormach machines ship from the factory with one thou backlash. I think that's what they they um, recommend. Uh, so you know, I have a machine here that I've spent you know far less money on. That's well, you know, a little bit, um, not, not quite as good, but not terrible. Based on my prior experience with the Grizzly conversion, you know, these, these values will be okay. But of course, I'd like them to be better. So if you, if you can help me out with that, shoot me a, a message or whatever. I'd love to hear what you have to say about Chinese ball screws and backlash. Or maybe you know a better place to get ball screws, higher quality ball screws um, that aren't super expensive. Please let me know. I'd love to hear about that. All right, well, um, that's about it. I don't want to make this video needlessly long, so we'll, uh, we'll cut it short right there. There's my back plot for my little test program. All right, well, stay tuned. I'll be uh, making more videos when I get those uh, servos, and uh, hopefully I'll get this machine completed, be able to take some test cuts, and uh, we'll post some videos on that too. So thanks for all your comments, appreciate all your help, thanks for watching, uh, be safe with your projects, and catch you later.